If you just got your HTC 10 skin, relax. This is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Note that your dbrand skin comes with five elements, front, back, upper lower, camera, and HTC logo. Every purchase comes with not one, but two different types of back skins. We'll explain more on that later. A microfiber cloth is also included to help smooth down the edges. You will require a hairdryer for this installation, so pause the video now and go grab one. Welcome back. Let's begin by installing the front piece. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Line up the skin around the home button, ensuring the skin is aligned at the bleeding edge of the glass. Once lined up properly, apply firm pressure to the exposed portion of the skin. Next, remove the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Turn the phone right side up and align with the earpiece. You may need to make slight horizontal adjustments to get a perfect fit. Once it's lined up, apply pressure once more and remove the 3M paper entirely. You may now smooth out the entire surface of the skin, ensuring to apply extra pressure around the border. Finally, peel off the screen from the tabbed cutout. Before installing the back skin, apply the camera skin using telekinetic powers. Let's now move on to the back piece. When you purchased your HTC 10 skin, you selected between Precision Fit and Chamfer Edition. In addition to this, we include a standard fit option free of charge with every order. The Precision Fit is more difficult to apply, but has precision coverage around all the cutouts. The Chamfer Fit offers a unique look and is super easy to apply. The Standard Fit is easy to apply and gives full coverage on the back of the device. Click on the option you like best to skip ahead to the appropriate section. You selected Precision Fit. Let's get started. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the camera and flash cutouts, ensuring the skin is aligned straight against the antenna line. Note that if the skin is not perfectly straight against the antenna line, it will ruin the entire installation. If misaligned, simply remove the skin and try again. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion, remove the 3M paper, and smooth out the entire back surface as shown. Next, grab your hair dryer and heat up the left side of the skin. Apply pressure bit by bit, rolling your thumbs over the edge of the frame. Heat the left side of the skin once more and rub the remaining edge with your microfiber. This will remove any remaining bumps and ensure proper adhesion on the edge of the skin. Repeat this process for the right side of the skin. Heat it up, apply pressure bit by bit. Heat it again, then secure the exposed edge by rubbing it with your microfiber. As you can see here, the inner edges of the cutouts are still not stuck down. In order to secure them in place, heat them up briefly, then rub them down with your microfiber cloth. Apply the logo skins by peeling out each letter, reattaching it to the back of the 3M paper, then pressing it into place. There are two sets included with each order, so don't worry if you mess it up on your first try. Finally, smooth down the edges of the skin by rubbing it with your microfiber cloth 10 to 15 times. The friction will smooth down the sharp edges and make the skin feel like it's melting into the phone. Now let's apply the upper and lower pieces. Begin with the upper piece by holding the skin as shown and aligning it around the headphone jack. Once aligned perfectly, Apply pressure to only the edge where the chamfered edge meets the top of the device. Do not apply pressure to the top of the device. Once the edge has been secured, position the bottom of the skin so that it lines up perfectly along the antenna line. Apply pressure to the back from the center outwards. Next, grab your hair dryer, heat the top flap, then apply pressure starting with the outer edges, working your way inwards. Heat the corner briefly and apply pressure to just the back corners of the device.
Let's now apply the side flaps. The key to getting a seamless installation is applying the flap so that the corner, highlighted here, meets the inner edge of the flap, highlighted here. Grab your hairdryer and heat the exposed flap until it becomes soft. Wrap the flap around the side of the device, ensuring to keep the bottom aligned with the antenna. Next, heat the flap again and wrap a small portion of the skin around the corner with your thumb, ensuring to line up the inner edge of the flap with the corner. Continue until the flap has been fully wrapped around the corner. Any remaining bumps or ripples can be smoothed out by heating the corner of your device and rubbing it with your microfiber cloth. If the flap isn't aligned properly, just wait a few seconds for the material to cool down. Then, peel it up and try again. If you see a gap, it means you need to apply more pressure when applying the flap. If you see an overlap, it means you need to apply less pressure. Repeat this process on the other side. Chances are you won't remember all those instructions, so either click here or return to 515. See you back here in a bit. Once both flaps have been applied, use another round of heat and use your microfiber to rub all the edges, ensuring that they stay secured to the device. Next, let's apply the lower piece. Align around the USB-C, microphone, and base cutouts. Once aligned perfectly, apply pressure to the bottom surface and crease the edge where the bottom and back meet. Heat the bottom of the skin and apply firm pressure to the small lip on the front of the device. Next, wrap the skin around the back of the device, heating it briefly before applying pressure to the corners. Let's now apply the side flaps. The key to getting a seamless installation is applying the flap so that the corner, highlighted here, meets the inner edge of the flap, highlighted here. Grab your hairdryer and heat the exposed flap until it becomes soft. Wrap the flap around the side of the device, ensuring to keep the bottom aligned with the antenna. Next, heat the flap again and wrap a small portion of the skin around the corner with your thumb, ensuring to line up the inner edge of the flap with the corner. Continue until the flap has been fully wrapped around the corner. Any remaining bumps or ripples can be smoothed out by heating the corner of your device and rubbing it with your microfiber cloth. If the flap isn't aligned properly, just wait a few seconds for the material to cool down. Then, peel it up and try again. If you see a gap, it means you need to apply more pressure when applying the flap. If you see an overlap, it means you need to apply less pressure. Repeat this process for the other side. Chances are you won't remember all those instructions, so either click here or return to 721. See you back here in a bit. Once both flaps have been applied, use another round of heat and use your microfiber to rub all the edges, ensuring that they stay secured to the device. If you are finding the precision fit too difficult or simply want a different look, try the standard fit instead. It's way easier and offers similar coverage to the Precision Fit. To see instructions for installing the Standard Fit skin, skip to 910. If you succeeded in applying the Precision Fit, then you're done. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us. You selected the Standard Fit. Let's get started. Remove the back skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the camera and flash cutouts, ensuring the skin is aligned straight against the antenna line. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion, remove the 3M paper, and smooth out the entire back surface as shown. Apply the logo skins by peeling out each letter, reattaching it to the back of the 3M paper, and pressing it into place. There are two sets included with each order, so don't worry if you mess it up on your first try. Finally, smooth down the edges of the skin by rubbing it with your microfiber cloth 10 to 15 times. The friction will smooth down the sharp edges and make the skin feel like it's melting into the phone. 
Let's move on to the upper and lower pieces. Apply the upper skin by aligning around the bottom of the headphone jack, then positioning the skin along the antenna line. Briefly heat the skin and apply pressure to get proper adhesion. The lower piece is applied by aligning along the antenna line and the border of the device. Once again, briefly heat the skin and apply pressure. Finally, smooth down the edges of the skin by rubbing it with your microfiber cloth 10 to 15 times. The friction will smooth down the sharp edges and make the skin feel like it's melting into the phone. Done. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us. You selected the chamfer edition. Let's get started. Remove the back skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the camera and flash cutouts, ensuring the skin is aligned straight against the antenna line. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion, remove the 3M paper, and smooth out the entire back surface as shown. Apply the logo skins by peeling out each letter, reattaching it to the back of the 3M paper, then pressing it into place. There are two sets included with each order, so don't worry if you mess it up on your first try. Applying the upper and lower pieces is easy. Simply line them up against the chamfers on the device. Done. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us.